Okay, folks, this is Data Recovery Case 193683, and this, my friends, is a disaster. Whenever we um, talk to people, we generally tell them if their data is important, um, don't go to a computer repair shop or someplace like that that is going to um, say that they can do data recovery, say they can repair hard drives. Uh, this is a three terabyte Western Digital Drive. These are not easy to work on even for companies that know what they're doing. Um, the problem that you run into is, is you get a lot of people that are out there that um, have worked on computers all their lives or whatever, think they know everything about them. Um, somebody brings in a hard drive that's not working and no problem, we can fix it. Well, I would say probably half the time, and this is not an exaggeration, probably half the time we get drives from customers then that have already gone that route first, and you get something stupid like this. And I looked at this, and the first thing that caught my eye was it was missing a screw over here on this side of the case. But the th thing that caught my, my eye after that was the case cover, and it's hard to tell on the camera, but you might be able to see there, is actually bowed up on this corner. So my thinking is they probably went through and opened it, didn't realize that there was another screw, which holy smokes, it looks like that screw is actually missing still. Um, didn't realize there was a screw hidden underneath here, you know, discovered it eventually, but they probably uh, took all these screws out and then pried up on this corner, um, bend in the case cover. But then you also have, right now, which is just epic, the actual case is loose. It doesn't move much, but it's enough. You can actually see it up here. Now, this is our customer's hard drive that has critical video and pictures on it that he needs. I mean, basically the case was created in our ticket system where he said, I need any file I can get off here, as much data as you can get. You know, that's great. But, you know, when the data is that important and then you have these morons that take hard drives like this, and just start taking them apart and ripping parts out of them, it's just mind-boggling to me um, that that happens. Because to me, it's not necessarily the customer's fault. Well, I mean, you know, it, it comes back on the customer for not backing up the data, obviously. But um, a lot of times, consumers in general just, they don't know that, you know, they think of a computer repair shop when their hard drive's damaged. So the drive gets taken into a local shop, and instead of a local shop saying, hey, this is above our pay grade, you need to talk to these guys, I don't give us drive savers, on tracks, you know, CBL, whatever. Um, you know, call ACS, I don't know, I'll even plug our name in there. Uh, you know, instead of referring them down that route, they tell the customer, oh yeah, no problem, we can fix it. So then, evidently, I guess they took the drive from the customer and then called them back and said, oh, well, we don't have the parts to be able to do this. Well... They didn't have the parts. Evidently, they thought they had enough knowledge and know-how and ability to do it that they took the drive apart and didn't even do a good job at that. I'm afraid to see what the platter looks like in here, so you and I are going to experience this together. And I'm not getting all suited up and everything for this because, really, how much worse could it be? I'm going to go ahead and flip on this hood, though. It's going to get loud here in a second. It's just the fan that's going to kick on and it's going to start pumping out air. I usually narrate over this, but I'm not going to do that this time for this one. But anyway, the rushing sound that you hear in the background is just the air that's being pushed out. It's uh, highly filtered and um, it just it purifies what's in this environment here that we're working under. Yeah, this screw right here that I'm doing is half out another one that's half out these are there's absolutely these aren't tight at all I'm just like stunned at this 
I like sharing little things like this uh, with our subscribers because I think it kind of is just, well, it's just mind-boggling to me. You know, I would literally like to have a contest where we have just some of these guys that have computer shops and things like that that think they know what they're doing say here, I'll give you $10,000 if you can recover this 3 terabyte Western Digital Drive that has a bad set of heads in it and see if they could even do it. Um, so anyway, yeah, let me make sure. It caught my eye that this screw was out, and I just, yeah, it's definitely out. So they didn't even put that one back in. as uh, Whatever, it doesn't surprise me. So I'm going to go ahead and carefully take this off. There are fingerprints on the inside of the case. I don't know if you can see those. And look at this flipping platter. Wow. I know it's not going to pick up as well on the uh, camera. It's, everything reflects off of that filter and everything else above this flow hood. But that platter is marked up all over the place. It's got nicks in the platter. I guarantee you that's going to damage the heads whenever we replace them. There's smears all over, smudges. Not as bad as some of them I've seen in the past. I've seen some where it looks like, literally, it looks like somebody was eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich while they were working on this thing. It's like they had syrup on their hands or something. Um, the heads surprisingly don't look as mangled as I thought they would. Maybe they didn't even try to swap those out. Just look. I'm taking a look over the camera to see if I can see down in there. Um, so yeah, that's in a nutshell what we see sometimes with, uh, with some of these drives that have been opened and worked on by your average, everyday, normal computer repair geeks that think they know anything and everything about hard drives. And really it ticks me off because now we're sitting here with a drive that may have been recoverable at some point relatively easily, and now it's going to be even tougher. Oh yeah, you can see here where they were prying into the case. I'm surprised they had nicked the platter then. It may have. Because it actually remove some of the rubber sealant from here. You can see that where it was torn off and stuck there to the inside of the case. Cover this real quick. The lesson here is if you have a hard drive that you have data on there that you cannot afford to lose, if you have your family pictures or whatever, I'd almost do the recovery for free before I let something like this happen. I mean, to me, this is just ridiculous. And this is what we see sometimes. I wasn't expecting actually the platter to look as good as it did, given how the outside of the drive looked. So, uh, you know, I mean, it's got some nicks in the platter. It may have an effect on the, uh, the drive being recoverable because what happens then is the um, heads hit those little areas that are damaged in the platter, and sometimes it'll damage the replacement heads we install. Um, but certainly with it being four platters in there, we should have if, <laughs> seven good surfaces I'm hoping that we can image from, which may give us some uh, some good data off there. Not sure yet, not 100% sure that's going to be possible, but at least that is one thing that um, is a silver lining to this. But, you know, having looked at the drive, seeing that the screw was missing off the side here, feeling how loose the case cover was, I thought this would be something I definitely wanted to share with uh with our viewers and um, just let you take a look at uh, at this uh, with me as we opened it up. So uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can visit our website at acsdata.com. Um, you can also give us a call at 1-800-717-8974. We'd be happy to help you. If you find yourself in a situation like this um, and you're just wondering who to turn to or how to get it recovered and you absolutely have to have the data back, don't go to your local computer repair shop. I don't care what they say. If they don't tell you to take it to a data recovery company, run. Um, 
because when you have a drive that has a bad set of heads like this, there's nothing that they're going to be able to do. I don't care what they do. And, you know, it, it just, it's not going to happen. And you have the chance of making it worse, which is definitely the case with this one here. Um, what I'm wondering is, they said that they couldn't access the drive. The customer said there wasn't any clicking noises or anything like that happening with the drive. So I'm curious why they even opened it and worked on it to begin with. If I had to guess, I would say that this drive was probably encrypted, came out of an enclosure. They hooked it up, couldn't do anything with it, thought so, something was physically wrong with the drive because they didn't see the data on there and then started mucking around with it on the inside. So that's just my theory. I don't know. But we'll take a look at this. If we have an update to it, we'll probably post a follow-up video. But um, right now, that's where we stand with uh, case 193683. Thanks again for watching. Again, visit acsdata.com for more information about our services. Or give us a call 1-800-717-8974. Make sure you hit that uh, subscribe button down there somewhere around here and, uh, and connect with us. And uh, we'll have more videos that we post periodically. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.